Hello friends, this video on human health and diseases part 21 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. How is cancer diagnosed and treated? Now treatment comes later. First of all, it has to be diagnosed that the tumor which exists inside the body of a person is cancerous. Now the diagnosis in is very important because detection of certain types of cancer at an early stage can completely cure the disease. The best example which I gave you is of the breast cancer. Now if it is at a very early stage that means the cancer which init got initiated in the breast is still confined to the breast location so it has not spread to the other organs. Now every cancer detection will involve stages like stage 0, stage 1, stage 2, stage 3 and so on. Now once the cancer reaches the final stage that would mean that it has spread all over the body. So that time it is not possible to cure it because you just cannot keep on removing different parts of the body right so it is not curable so it is curable only when it is at the early stages like stage 0 or stage 1 or stage 2 so because in these stages at least it is confined within a limited area so all you can do is you can surgically remove those parts of the body and then you can give some treatment just to ensure that cancerous cells are not present anywhere else in the body so that that ways it can be treated but for that detection at an early stage is very important. So the techniques which are used for detection are biopsy. Now what happens in biopsy? In this what happens is the portion where the difficulty or where a tumor is said to be found. Let us suppose somebody found that there is some tumor like thing near her breast. So what happens is a small portion of that tissue is taken out, is cut and taken out of the breast and then lot of studies is done on that particular tissue that histopathological study is done just to see if what kind of cells are there it is kept for quite few days and then it is seen how the growth is how the cells divide and how fast they grow so all those studies are done based on that small portion which is taken out of that infected tissue or that infected tumor now this biopsy can actually tell if the if that particular tumor is a malignant tumor or a benign tumor and then based on that further treatment can be considered. Now even before biopsy, radiography or MRI can also help just to understand because with the help of scanning only you will get to know if there is something inside the body. For example, even if there is a tumor, it is not. it doesn't happen always that a person will feel the presence of a tumor from externally. So sometimes the tumor is located deep inside and you really can't feel it externally. So in that, those cases, MRI or radiography can actually help you to see that yes, a tumor exists. And now once you know that a tumor exists in that particular location, then a biopsy can be performed where a small mass of cell or a small portion of the tissue is taken out and then histopathological studies are done over it to check whether it is cancerous or not whether it is a benign tumor or a malignant tumor so this is how the diagnosis procedure takes place then comes the treatment. Now once it has been diagnosed that yes it is cancerous. Now what is the treatment? So obviously there are uh, many different approaches to treat cancer. However as I said if it is at the final stage it cannot be cured. Again if it is in a vital organ like lungs or liver in that case you cannot remove those organs so it cannot be completely cured but at least partially it can be cured. That too if it is at an early stage. So the common approaches for treatment are surgery that is the first step because it is very much important to remove all the cancerous cells from the body. So even if a person has breast cancer if, the, if it is at a stage 1 or a stage 2 a little later stage the entire breast is removed to be on the safer side. So surgery will remove the cancerous cells from the body. The second step is chemotherapy. Now what is done in this therapy? Chemo means chemical, therapy means uh, a medication. So specific drugs are used to kill specific cancerous cells. Now there are drugs to kill specific cancerous cells. Now these drugs basically kills all the cells that are growing in the body. So it stops or it kills the growing cells of the body. So as a result of this 
it is not very specific in its action it is it is specific in the sense that it can kill the growing cells but there are certain other cells in the body also which are growing for example the hair cells our hair keeps growing all the time the nails of our body it keeps growing all the time now when the chemotherapy continues what happens is the patient often goes bald that's because the hair doesn't grow hair stops growing completely because the hair cells also die due to these drugs again the nails stop growing the nails often turn black and it stops growing so all these are some of the side effects in fact after chemotherapy some of them feel very weak and a lot of care is actually required during the du while the during the duration of the chemotherapy so this chemotherapy is again helpful in the sense that it kills all the growing cells of the body so a lot of cancerous cells also get killed by this chemotherapy but the side effects are uh, too much sometimes to bear for a patient and then the third approach is radiotherapy so in this again a radiation is given to kill the cancerous cells so these radiation will kill the cancerous cells now most of in most of the cases what happens is all these three approaches are followed now if somebody if for somebody a cancer has been detected in stage 0 where it was just a very minute tumor where the chances of it spreading even in the nearby area is very less in that case only surgery can help but if even if the stage is stage 1 where the tumor is little big so the doctors might might remove that particular tumor during surgery but still they will give chemotherapy and also radiotherapy just to ensure that there are no cancerous cells even in the surrounding of that particular uh, that but that infected area for example let us take the example of breast tumor again so if you have a tumor in the breast there are chances that not only the breast the lymph nodes can also get impacted because the lymph nodes near your breasts are located the lymph nodes now once the lymph nodes get impacted what can happen through the lymph it can actually spread to the different parts of the body so that can happen so what happens is the doctor will check and will remove the breast or it will remove the tumor from the breast it will check for the lymph nodes if he feels that there might be infection even if he has doubt that there can be some infection in the lymph nodes he will remove the lymph nodes as well so the breast and the lymph nodes are all clear now but still if he feels that the lymph node was also impacted to some extent so in that case he has this doubt that if it has got spread to some other part of the body so that is why he will prefer chemo, he will also recommend chemotherapy following following which there will be radiotherapy so once this entire process is complete in that case it can be ensured that the patient doesn't have any more cancerous cells in his or her body so this is the normal process of treatment for cancer which is very time consuming tedious and also very difficult for the patient but at least now we have some approach for treatment because for a long time people have been striving the scientists have been striving to find out drugs to find out approaches to treat cancer now even some drugs are have started coming up which can replace chemotherapy however that is not into practice yet but research is going on so that the entire process of chemotherapy can be replaced with drugs which will be very specific in action so that they do not have these major side effects on a patient Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for an easy four-step learning process absolutely free of cost. Watch video lessons, ask questions, refer notes and take an online test. Thank you once again.